Coach Pat Jones with your host, Jerry Park. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another edition of the Pat Jones Show. Cowboys at home for the second week in a row, playing highly ranked Colorado, and it was a 16 to 12 loss for the Cowboys. But Pat, what an exciting game! Has your heart gotten back down to uh, its normal rhythm yet? Oh no, I don't. It hadn't been at normal rhythm in a long <laughs> time. It, my head feels like it's been in a bell or something, which is probably a pretty good analogy. I, I thought we would play well defensively. I would have been surprised had we not. We were doing some things that, that, that we might be able to see on some of the replay that as far as taking away the outside, we had felt like if we could keep Hagan <coughs> excuse me, off the corner and force them into a fullback tailback game that we had a chance and then just live with whatever happens in the throwing game. And uh, again, they were I don't think they were quite as sharp. I thought they were a little bit flat. I think emotionally again we had everything going for us. But yes, it was a heck of a football game, a tough one to lose. I'm very proud of the way our youngsters and assistants handle things as far as our preparation. And again, um, they probably as exciting games you'll ever see. Well, it was an exciting game. We'll take a look at the highlights of Oklahoma State and Colorado when the Pat Jones Show continues after these messages. Oklahoma State and Colorado, and as you'll see by the replay that we're getting ready to show you, it was a great football game. It was an exciting football game right down to the end. Pat, you won the toss and deferred to the second half. Well, we see the, the kickoff being returned and they didn't get much out of it, got up to 20. I thought our coverage units did a really a good job most of the afternoon. I was not surprised they decided to go play action and throw deep the first play of the game. Great play by Mike Clark. Uh, uh, Carlos Irving had a, was in position from the back side. Again, as you can see, there's a replay of the same thing. Uh, play action, we, uh, there's Colbert and Satterwhite that are, that are unloading pretty good on Hagen right when he throws the ball. Uh, but again, th I think they were expecting us to run a bunch of blitzes at him. It's what it acted like was they were running a lot of things on the first snap, first sound. And you come out throwing. And we come out throwing and uh, again, he go, going into a little bit of a win, uh, turn around, run the sweep and, 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 and make a nice little gain out of it with Berrien. Uh, the boy, they're really good, I think, across their front seven. I think they got a very good defensive football team. Uh, here's Kenny coming out on a little bit of movement stuff and replay coming up. Does a nice job of throwing back against the grain. Really, our, our, our movement and our sprint out stuff, I think, was pretty good to us most of the afternoon. Uh, again, throwing back, and who is that? Uh, Cheatwood catching Cheatwood, that? Mark yeah, Mark Cheatwood really played well. He's a good little football player. Here's our first punt of the ball. And of course, again, they've got Darian Hagen back, which is scary enough. Uh, again, our coverage teams did a good job. He almost hit a crack there earlier, or later on, excuse me, but now they're backed up. And again, it's, this thing is, is going to rock on long. You can see now we had a couple of guys in position uh, to make the play on the perimeter, and he ran by them. And, but again, we, I think defensively, again, I cannot expect much more out of us. We almost intercepted that one. Scotty Harmon made a great break on it. Again, here he's come back. Lead draw, they did hit a couple of creases. Uh, early on uh, on the lead draw, really, other than, I guess, right here and with the fullback a couple of times. Stacy's right there. Yeah, Stacy's right there. Uh, the only things they really hurt us, hurt us with were some scramble situations later on. But, again, you, Satter White and the entire defensive unit can't say enough good things about it. And we almost get circled right out there. Had a guy that jumped inside a block, and Brandon Colbert did a great job of getting over there and, and, and knocking them out of bounds. But really, I didn't think, I think other than that, it's about the only time we were out of position at all. So we almost intercepted that one right Scotty there. Scotty Harmon again. Yeah, again, so now they try to come back and run a counter play. Great play by Gildon. Again, Gildon uh, looked like to me standing around on the sidelines was all over the field, every place. Now here they're coming back. It's with, third and seven. They had a screen call. Uh, uh, Gildon and Satterwhite had it played, did a great job. Again, he had now gets into a scramble type deal. Let's see up here at the top of our screen. Again, they see Gildon reacting. That Satter White had seen it and made a great reaction on it. Again, Colbert had a hold of him. He dropped the ball. We almost got that. But uh, again, now Colorado comes in and, and punts the ball. Let's see what happens here. Of course, the, I think the wind was, was swirling around pretty good. Uh, again, Hagen is pretty fearless with his, his returns. I think it kind of spooked our returners a little bit. All right, a little bit of a sweep again here to a to a split inside. Uh, again, Denson makes a couple of pretty good looking runs, but uh, these people are these people are good defensively. Uh, again, you can see here, though, they've built a wall and you're not gonna get uh, outside of it, inside of it, or any other thing. Okay, Kenny going back to throw. Uh, had a little bit of room to jump up inside and scramble, but backed up, it, it, it appeared that we were gonna play well defensively. 
uh, I won't say we were not trying to throw the football, but we again backed up. I'll say so Harmon missed him, and he hits a crack here. Again, that's the that's Hagen himself. Uh, repeat of it here. That's the only time I guess on any of the returns. There okay, several, okay. Several penalties that put them back. To the oh play. yeah, that's right. They had there were some a couple of penalties there. Again, they run the blast, but we were succeeding at at, at, at driving them into a, basically an inside run type situation. You can see we're swarming the fullback pretty good here. Here's their version of play action. Again, he starts scrambling around. Somebody unloads him right there at the end. Uh, Cornell Cannon intercepted here. Uh, let's uh, replay. Okay, let's see. I think it's Gildon that probably hits him right about the time he turns loose of the ball. Let's see, there's Gildon coming from the right-hand side of our screen. Let's see if he shows up. Okay, right there, you bet. And uh, again, Cannon. Of course, Hagen has got a strong arm. Now, he has, over the course of his career, been a little bit erratic at times if you can pressure him enough. The scariest thing he does is just get loose on a scramble. Okay, here we go. Uh, Russell Barry and tailback. Hit a little bit of a crack right here. I can't say that we consistently sustained anything in the running game, but we were able to hit a few creases ourselves. Uh, again, with the, they were mixing some things up uh, and doing a pretty nice job of doing some blitz stuff or bringing their outside people. There comes one from the top right there. We get inside of him, but. Uh, they have done a little bit more of that sort of thing this year as far as a little bit more pressure type stuff. But again, Steed, the nose guard, is a, is a known, very, very good player. Uh, their other defensive guys, and there's some young people, are, are really quality folks. I think there's, their core of linebackers is very, very solid. Okay, again, uh, run the tailback here. He does bounce outside. You can see on some of this kind of stuff, it, I mean, we're making a few yards, but it is not coming easy, which again did not surprise me. The best thing we're doing is, again, hammering away pretty good. And, and you see we get hit in the head there and don't make anything. But we were not turning the ball over. OK, come out and, and try to run a bootleg. You see they brought the two outside guys. I, we were lucky right there. The guy didn't blitz the thing. OK, now we opened up a crack. And their jumper he jumped right in it and blocked the field goal. Again, boy, we're, it seems like every time you turn on TV or watch us or anybody else, people are, are blocking a lot of field goals this year. But So they've got the ball now, about the 35. You can see turn around. Hand it off, good play, Chaucer Funches. I think this guy played good. You know, we were starting Art Davis, number 50. Clarence Noble had turned his ankle uh, in midweek in practice. Here's a replay of this coming up. Yeah, we get this ball. That's right. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we can see it from this right here. I think it's Art Davis. Let's see if it's number 50 that right there hits him, knocks the ball up in the air, and Andre Thompson recovers it. So, again, this we even had another break. They were doing some things to help us, but, again, we were getting after him pretty good. Okay, there's they're bringing some people again. Uh, and we don't get it blocked, but you know, some, they're, they're bringing one or the other, or both. Here they come again with a lot of pressure. Okay, and four gets sacked. They overwhelmed the fullback that time. But again, they're, they have been gotten a little bit more aggressive with their style of defense. All right, uh, decent time, and they had him covered, and he wisely overthrew the ball. And we come in and punt. Again, this was starting to bother me like it would anybody else when, when they're, they're trying to help us. We've got, to, we've got the ball in, in, in decent field position and can't do anything with it, but at least we, could, we punted them back down on their end of the field. Okay, here he comes off now, gives the ball to the fullback. He makes a little bit, and well, I almost came out of that one, but again, with what we were doing, yeah, we figured that they, they, they would break a little bit inside, but there again, there's Satterwhite, uh, Andre, Woolridge, Gildon, quite a few of them. I guess that ball must have come out there, but okay, all right, good play right here again by Satterwhite. Uh, we're doing some things in, again in the interior that we've got to have got to have real good play by our down people and, and I think we basically did that. Okay, Hagen throws out in a flat, not much. Good tackle, good job of swarming the football. So so here, now Colorado comes in, punts again. So it's 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 becoming a, a duel of field position and you just get out of the way. So they push one of our guys in the back there. I was afraid he's going to fall into the ball. Field position, wind, uh, turnovers, all the stuff that that is involved in a a low scoring defensive football game. Okay, here we come off, give the ball to Franks. Uh, he gets hit for no gain here. So now the, uh, the first quarter is winding down. Nothing to nothing. Again, it's stacking up to be a defensive battle. Well, it is nothing to nothing. Oklahoma State and Colorado at the end of the first quarter. We'll take a look at the exciting action of the second quarter when the Pat Jones Show continues after these words. Well, my family was growing up. Well, the first quarter between Oklahoma State and Colorado ends in a scoreless tie. We pick up action, Pat. Second quarter, Oklahoma State with the ball, second and nine from the 24. But we're going downwind a little bit now. Quarterback draw, nice run by Ford. Again, uh, uh, quarterback draws, we do it several times. Uh, 
sprint out, run pass, uh, look pretty good at times. Kenny seems more confident every week. Well, again, I, uh, you know, sometimes he does and sometimes he doesn't, Jerry. I, I can't all the time tell. I, I think he did a little bit better job this week, in my opinion, of, uh, of playing within himself. Again, that was one that was a nice throw there, and they banged Robert around. Uh, Kirksey, again, we'll talk a little bit more about Kirksey. He surpassed the 1,000-yard mark for his career, one of only 10 or 11 Oklahoma State receivers to ever do that. Here's Ford coming out again on the sprint keeper. Uh, Franks and our perimeter people uh, get them knocked down. Uh, again, the, the, they were playing some man coverage, and that boy Roger Franks, and we're on the corner. And uh, again, Ford, Ford it, it, again at times looks looks pretty decent doing some of this kind of stuff to me. But uh, again, they're trying to pin them all in there. There they run the blitz again, and we can't get it picked up. But you can see they're playing some games with us. And here again, talking about building a wall. I mean, there's nothing going right there. Uh, but again, I got to give Colorado credit here. Ford back play action uh, overthrows this one. Uh, they had it covered. I did. I think Kenny, with the throwing game by and large, did a pretty good job of, uh, uh, again of playing within himself. Maybe with one or two exceptions, as far as just not not kind of firing it out there. Okay, nothing going here again. I, I can't say enough good things about our our punt coverage. And you, you're dealing with with tackling very very talented people in the open field here. Okay, they give the ball off. Nothing going here, so it, it, it's stacking up, and, and, and certainly I've got the feeling, we've got the feeling over there that, that we're going to play well defensively. And you can see Satterwhite. Oh yes, yeah, so Stacy just 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 I really had a great great afternoon. I think you know Garman, uh, Gildon, Satterwhite, Colbert, uh, the whole crew of fellas here, Elmer Williams, uh, they all played well. I, I, you know Andre Thompson, the whole group of them did. Okay, here he goes back to throw. Now this this is. Throw a little underneath route right here, and they do a good job of catching. We can't get him there, but uh, again, Hagen throughout the course of the afternoon basically was hot and cold. Okay, good job here on this option. Bang, right there. That ball comes out, and we're going to get it now on the 18-yard line. Uh, you can see we've got it strung out well. Uh, we've got things played on the perimeter well. Cannon comes up and takes a good shot at him by the time he's catching the ball, and, and Darian can't get on it. And, and, I can't tell which one of us Gildan recovered. Gildan recovered it. So we've got it down there now. And they're in the field. This is a nice looking run here by Denson. Bang, zip. Okay. Repeat coming up. I know we were watching it in here this morning and this morning when we graded the thing. And the first time we watched it, and somebody made the remark that this looks about like Thurman here. Again, he's he's already gained about 10 pounds since he's been on campus. And obviously it's getting stronger, almost breaks one later on. But uh, again, now this boy, I thought this was a couple of big plays here. Again, we run him up inside and then don't make much. Big third down play. I mean, we're on the 11-yard line. Again, they blitz and hit us right in the face, and we, we actually lose a yard, come in and, and kick the field goal. You get the ball down on your end of the field, certainly you want to get sevens instead of threes. We were thankful to get the three, but you'd have loved to have seven. And again, you're always fearful that's going to, that stuff's going to come back and haunt you. This was a deep squib. We were a little bit scared of, of, of kicking the ball down there to them. Uh, I'm sorry, we were going against the wind a little bit, so deep squib. They got the ball in the 30 and, and not much going here. Again, give it to the fullback. Uh, so we were giving them some misreads on, on some of this inside stuff. Now they're going to take the safe approach and just run the tail back, and he does bounce to the outside and make a little bit. But, okay, here's Hagen going back to throw play action again. This is wishbone stuff. Boy, what a great-looking catch here. Was, one handed Yeah, they got the back down the middle, and that's hard to account for. And, again, that's kind of wishbone <laughs> stuff here. They broke this. I, this is, is this Hill here? Is that who that this is? This is Hill, yes. yeah. He, 37 yeah, okay. He has, has a, probably the longest run of the day. Takes it down uh, to the five. You know, he's a, okay, now they run a reverse right here. Gildon makes a great play. Jason's sitting over there waiting for it. Does a great job of, of getting a hold of him, and they actually lose yardage on it. Okay, come down, give the ball off to the fullback. Nothing cooking here at all. So defensively, other than the, than the one long run, oh, we're playing well. Okay, he, here he comes out. Throws and Arthur Davis bats this ball down. Uh, let's see this this replay of it here. Okay, again number 50, Arthur Davis, his first extended playing time. We've been we've played him, first time he's gone out there and that ball. You know it, uh, the guy came open, but good job Arthur Davis. We almost we almost got that one. I mean I, somebody was trying to tell me they had tipped it. I, I couldn't tell there, but we almost got that one in the middle. Just now they made it over. You bet the game's tied at three and boy this has got all the makings of just what it exactly what it ended up to be. Okay, nice job, Robert Kirksey. Nice job, Kenny Ford on a little bootleg here. Ford come out, and you can see they've got some pressure. Nice job of, uh, of zinging this ball in here. Again, Kirksey catches it, and 
And we, I don't remember, we made some, we made a first down there. 13 yeah, yard, you know, 13 that yard catch. Okay, here he comes out, sprint, sprint out again, throws it to Milner. Milner makes a catch, steps out of bounds. Uh, but again, uh, nice looking play, nice throw, nice catch. Okay, now we give the ball off to Franks. Uh, nothing much, but he makes some positive yardage at least. He made one real good looking run here later on. All right, there's Dents at the tailback, and they're swarming all over him. But uh, again, there they were locking on, playing some man to man coverage on the corners. And, doing some stunting and stuff inside. Wasn't easy for us to get blocked. I mean, they're not easy people to get blocked. We hit this punt here kind of off the side of our foot, but again, we got lucky with some bounces. Hagen went over and tried to field it and went out of bounds, but um, that's uh, Kenneth Pope, who's actually coaching that uh, <laughs> at Mississippi State University. They had an open date and he was up here. Uh, okay, now we almost, actually, we had a guy that bit on this. The same play coming up again. The, the, the corner should have stayed number two. Carlos should have stayed outside there. Yeah, I know what you want to say here, Jerry. I'm not going to say it quite honestly, but uh, it was close. Yeah, well, uh, but anyway, I, which is what you're scared of with option stuff when it gets out there right on you. Somebody, people just got to hang on their responsibilities, but sometimes easier said than done. Here comes Hagen now off against uh, play action again, uh, throws it low and away, and they can't make the catch. All right, second down ten. He comes off now again. Play action. Uh, nice, nice looking throw and catch here. Again, with people who are essentially wishbone folks, I mean, you know, you're going to bite on some play action. Okay, boy, this thing was nutty here. The reverse toss back, and uh, we had it played real well. I think there were about three penalties or something. Uh, called, they got uh, there was a res illegal receiver downfield clipping and offensive pass interference all against the CU. <laughs> yeah, okay, here they go, and, and, and you know, Darian bobbled the ball and picked it up and fires it, and there's people trying to explain it to me. I just said, hey, whatever's loss of down, go ahead and take it. <laughs> you know, and, Try to set them back as bad as much as could. We did have the deep ball covered well. Again, uh, Carlos Irvin, Scott Harmon did a nice job of it. The official is giving every sign I think that he has heard <laughs> or seen. There's the pass interference all against Colorado. Yeah, I, you know, I said, hey, whatever loss down is, take it. Okay, good look. Watch this right here. Bang, there we go. Okay, Cornell can again. We saw him make a nice play on the perimeter there early. He made another good one. I think he like knocked himself out, and guys are trying to congratulate him and hit him on the head again. Boom, good job of turning them upside down. I, I cannot fault us really at all as far as the way we played things on the perimeter. Good job, good pressure. All right, Hagen's scrambling around, takes off running, just barely missing, but we get him pinned up and shove him out of bounds. Colorado's forced to punt again. Uh, they hit this one, miss hit this one a little bit. Again, I think the, the wind spooked Harmon a little bit there. It was swirling around and uh, they would they love to have gotten up and caught that ball, but the guy didn't hit it well. Now we got to start off our own one yard line and, so we just run a quarterback sneak and try to get a little bit of operating room, run the tailback here, make about a yard, but at least we've gotten right out off, off of the, our own goal line. But as you can see, this thing is a sheer defensive battle. Going, late, late going, in the half. Yeah, late in the half, going deep. Okay, had no problem with this as long as we overthrow it deep. So they've got the ball out around midfield. Uh, quite honestly, a little bit scared of punting back off in there. All right, here comes Hagen back, throws it, uh, does nice, uh, this kid does a nice job of catching it. Uh, ball, come, okay, did we get that? No. Watch the replay, and the ball is out before his knee goes down. Whoa. Um, they, yeah. They call him already down. Okay. Um, well, things happen. All right. Okay, turn around, give it off again. Lead draw, good play. Chaucer Funches, nice job right here. Again, I thought Funches really played well. You know, getting with them operating down on our end of the field, very little time with this guy doing this kind of stuff is dangerous, throwing back against the grain. Art Davis, great interception. Nice job. You can see the emotion that's – that has built on with our defensive unit and in the crowd and everything else. Well, here he is scrambling around. We've got good uh, pressure, good coverage. Now he's going to try to throw back across his body. Arthur Davis makes a great break, great catch. Good job, Art. Uh, now it's again tied 3-3 three to three at the half. Oklahoma State and Colorado tied at three at halftime. And Pat, as you head to the locker room, is it defensive battle and your defensive team is playing extraordinarily well. Well again we had the impression early on that, that we would play well defensively and we did. Uh, Colorado's having a hard time moving the ball. We are too. The thing that was again bothering me or starting to worry me a little bit is we had had some opportunities. They had done some things to help us. We'd only gotten three points out of it. But again it, 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 nothing real dramatic happens. Certainly you think it's going to be low scoring. Probably the key to it is who turns the ball over the least and where that occurs. But again, everything's going about like it needs to. I'm bothered because we haven't scored a little bit more, but I know that we're going to play well defensively. 
If you thought the first half was exciting, wait till you see the second half. We'll have those highlights from OSU in Colorado coming up next. We're ready for the second half between Oklahoma State and Colorado. Pat, you won the opening toss, deferred to the second half, and elected to receive the ball. Well, again, yeah, this is going to be a big drive for us here, or a big, big possession, of course. Uh, so you'd like to be able to do something with it. Again, we, we make a little bit of a run. He, he almost spins out of that. We did something here, Jerry. They were real late getting in and out of their defensive huddle. So basically what we did was call two plays and then almost bluff like we were going back in the huddle and come out and line back up. He almost hit this and went the distance right there. Uh, again, 27 might have gotten him down, but he might not have either. Okay, Kenny comes back off, throws a three-step game. Hits Burt Milder, nice throw and nice catch here. But uh, again, that those two plays we had run uh, were called without a huddle. Again, they were really, really late getting their signals and substitutions in. We tried to do something to take advantage of it. Okay, here's Big Franks. He, he does a good job. He doesn't make much of getting his shoulders down and running. Okay, Denson has to cut back into to the, the teeth of a blitz coming from the backside. Here they come again. You can see that guy at the top. Okay, good job, LG Thompson. LG makes this catch and really makes an impressive looking catch and run here later on. He's getting a little bit healthier. You know, this guy's going to be a good football player himself. Play action here, and Kenny, again, under pressure. They're playing man coverage and uh, threw it in behind Robert Kirksey. Again, now we come in and, and punt again. Uh, punt hits short. Again, we get a favorable roll, and it's going to come back way down in there. Okay, keep on going, ball. See if you can get it to the 10 yard line. Uh, not quite, but it goes you know, to the it, 10. It goes to the 10. Okay, we kill it. Colorado's now in a hole. Uh, okay, here they come back out again. Now they run. This is their classic option play. Boy, we've got it played well. He makes about two yards on this. Uh, again, we've got everything taken care of that we need to. Okay, he comes out here on play action. Uh, it's good looking throw and catch. We actually had the tight end covered on that, but again, Hagen has got a strong arm. Okay, now they come back, give the ball to the fullback, and nothing cooking here. Uh, now they come back, they're going to run a blast play, run the tail back up there. Not anything really there. So, again, uh, they, they made a little bit in the throwing game, but not a heck of a lot. Okay, we got lucky here. Threw a little release pass there, and the guy drops the ball. So we've stopped him. Okay, now they, okay, Colorado punts once more. All right, Scotty Harmon's going to get this ball caught. All right, not much. And Colorado's got good team speed. Again, both teams did a good job of, uh, of covering kicks. Pom-pom girls all excited and everything. Okay, here we go back. Little play action here. This is LG's catch and run right here. That's the way to spin off that tackle right there, LG. Again, we need to get this guy some success. He had, had the banged up shoulder. He'd been practicing well. I'd uh, like to play him a little bit at tailback if we could. Okay, we'll watch him spin off of this here. Good job, LG Thompson. Uh, so now we, we've, we've hit a couple of passes. Uh, have, have made a few yards. Okay, here Kenny comes back, uh, throws that ball in behind there, and then again, Burt's trying to get a face mask. Okay, now this is big right here. I, uh, center snapped it before he was ready. Uh, you know, I got a couple of different explanations off the side. I thought this and another play we're going to see later on were really big. I mean, we're moving it. Uh, and this kind of stuff, uh, you know, not good. Okay, Hagen comes back out. Forced to scramble. All right, now again, yeah, he, th this is where, again, he is the most dangerous. Andre Thompson did a great job and hustled over there and took a shot at him. All right, now, okay, they, the tailback does hit a little bit of a crack right there, but we've got still got a lot of people around the football. Again, that one uh, mishandle exchange was a very big play. Good play, Jason Gilded. A good play, Art Davis. Okay, so now Colorado runs. Okay, tailback does hit a little bit of crease here. And you can see they're making some yards, uh, but it's, it, it's, he hit a little bit of another crack right in there. I thought we were going to stop them down in here. Okay, now this, I think this is first and goal here. They, they run the fullback. It bounces outside, and it doesn't make very much. Okay, now they come back. And, Try to run the option. Michael Wolleridge right there throwing for a loss. We had it played. We had people all over the thing. Now, I think they're going to come back, and one of their linemen is going to move or something down in here someplace. Yeah, they were, they were backed up another five yards. This brings up a third goal from the 10. I just repeated the same play that we had. Okay, Wolleridge comes off. Good sure tackle on Hagen. And we had people all around the thing. Colbert, Garman. Okay, uh, he goes back. This, yeah, this is a touchdown pass right here. Again, he, boy, he fired this ball in there. There was just a little bit of a crease. And, uh, he did a great job of throwing it. They did a great job of catching it. Now, Colorado has, has gone ahead by a touchdown as a result of somewhat by one of our uh, turnovers. Okay, here's Roger Franks that hits air, makes a first down. I was very impressed with the way we countered things offensively down in here. Uh, you, good job, Roger Franks. Take care of that football. 
right in here, it could be kind of a break point for us. And he, oh yeah, I see that Ford throws this one first real only pass that I thought we got lucky here. Okay, somebody stripped him of the ball. Dimitri Markham recovers. Uh, again, so Markham, it's now, Markham stripped him. Markham stripped him, okay. And recovered. You know, this, we got, they ran a stunt from the outside and we turned a guy loose. Okay, so now that Kenny threw the interception. Okay, there's Markham right there, number 80. That's right, they took a shot at him, caused the fumble and recovered it. Very, very big play in the ball game there. So we've got it first and 10 again. Okay, turn around, pitch it, uh, tail back on the sweep, and he hits a little bit of a crack. Okay, come back, same thing the other side. Uh, again, boy, that's, this is good effort here by Denson. You know, he's, con he's continued to get stronger and continue to get a little bit more confident. Boy, this is a nice throw and catch here. Mark Cheatwood, watch him get up and scramble. Mark really played well. It's good having him back in the lineup. Gets in the void area and sits down. Good throw, good catch, Cheatwood. That's a way to keep on scratching and clawing. Okay, that a boy. So, so we're countering their touchdown here. Uh, okay, here we go back, first and 10. Play action, you can see that outside rusher coming. Okay, through it to Markham. Markham is not completely, his ankle's still bothering him, but he's getting a little bit better. Try to run some play action of our own. Uh, no, we got lucky right there. That wasn't called grounding. Kenny got hung up in the pass rush and threw the ball away. Okay, now we come back and we had a guy open right there. It's Kirksey and again, just right off the, 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 his fingertips, ball was thrown a little bit high. Could have been caught, probably would have been a heck of a catch. We punt the ball and again, that's going to roll down across their side of the 20 because we're behind now. But uh, they, other than the, the one turnover, which I, again, I was really afraid was going to haunt us, which it did but not a whole lot going. You can see they turn around and run the blast here, and we've got people all over. Okay, he comes back at uh, Colorado. We've got them covered down the field. Hagan gets to scrambling. Gildon, Elmer Williams. Okay, good job again. So so we've countered really defensively. We've come in and stiffened. Okay, all right, he gets a little bit of a scramble right in here. And that was on the third and one. Yeah, okay, and so, so yeah, now he, he takes a pretty good shot. Here we go. Uh, okay, right in there, a little bit of a takedown. Gildon, I mean, he, I'm sorry, Hagen gets out in the open field. Okay, good job, Funches, good job, fellas. They're hustling around, taking a shot at people. They have to check. Okay, now this, we had the block on right there and almost had it. We're, I'll, I'll try to explain a little bit later. Uh, they turned Clark loose a little bit later. Uh, now again, now the, 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 his last play of the third quarter, Colorado's ahead 10 to 3, and again, still a heck of a football game. An exciting fourth quarter to come on the Pat Jones Show when it continues in just a minute. Welcome back to the Pat Jones Show. We have 15 minutes of exciting football for you as Oklahoma State and Colorado head into fourth quarter action. 10-3, Colorado in the lead, Pat. Well, again, I, we, we make a pretty impressive looking drive. I think I'm correct in saying that again. Okay, here, here's play action. They slow one of our receivers down, but boy, this is a great throw and catch here. Uh, Colorado's fighting hard and we're fighting hard and they're a good football team. We overthrew that one. Uh, Mark Williams, again, you can see we're playing he and LG in there some too. Okay, Kenny goes back, quarterback draw, hits a little bit of a crack. Let's get out there and outrun somebody. Okay, uh, again, we, we, we didn't, I won't say had real big plays. We're able to make something off here. They're blitzing again. Boy, this is a great throw and catch here. Robert Kirksey, again, I don't remember when it was that he went over the 1,000-yard mark. It might have been on this one here, but... He's covered every which way but Sunday. Yeah, again, this is, a, this is really a, this is a nice throw. Watch it right over the top of this guy. Great catch, Robert Kirksey. Now we're down inside the Colorado 20. Uh, okay, we run a little bit of motion right there. Okay, get him circled. That's a way to explode, Denson. Okay, there you go. Uh, we hit the pass. And here we go back. Let's see what Big Franks does right out here. He's going to get in one of them's way. And, Rafael, that's the way to run that football. And I thought both tailbacks ran maybe with a little bit more authority yesterday. Okay, here we are right here. Again, not much, but it's some positive yardage. We're down inside the, the Colorado 10-yard line, third down and one. Okay, that's a way to explode up in there, Rafael Denson. You can see he's really getting down and uh, he, he's unloading. He's exploding. Okay, run the sweep here. Uh, nothing, or maybe a yard. Okay. Lost a yard. Lost a yard. All right, let's see. Santa no, Gold from the seven. All right, here's the fade. They man coverage, great throw, great catch. Robert Kirksey, great throw by Kenny Ford. Had some field to work with. Had to man coverage, and Kenny laid it right up over the top of the guy. And Robert makes a great dive and catch. Uh, but again, very, very well executed play against a pressure style of defense. Here it is again. Denson's going to step up in there and block somebody. He blocked well. Okay, good job again. Had some field to work with and good throw. Very, very, very good execution there. Come in and, and kick the extra point. And now the game is tied at 10 early in the fourth quarter. Boy, this place is, uh, 
it actually looked like the crowd got bigger. The guys high five. I believe it did. Big it did. They got out, came out of Eskimo Joe's and came on down there or something. <laughs> they, they okay, he tries to keep the ball up inside, nothing going. Okay, Hagen goes back and throws, just a little simple uh, route in the middle, and we had it basically covered, hit him a yard short. Okay, here he comes down, Jason Gildon. Try to run the option on third down and short yardage. Jason Gildon makes a great play. We throw Hagen for a loss. Okay, there The crowd is into you, it. you very much into it. All right, here we go. Bang, right there. This is the uh, same block that we had on before. We, we see if we, how much of it we can get, if we can see our guys moving around here a little bit. They're moving around after, I assure you there. But uh, Mike Clark is the same block that we had on before. Okay, we've already done some shifting. There they go. It's a good picture here. Turned Clark loose right down the. Nobody touched him. Nobody touched him. Uh, we thought we could get him in this with the way they were protecting the thing. Uh, goodness gracious, I wish the ball would stop in the end zone, but I think Mike said he hit him right in the headgear. Well, this guy unloads on this kick right here. Well, he kicked this ball about 60 yards, I think. Down to, to 13. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Scotty Harmon gets it fielded. Okay, gets back upfield. Well, I thought if there was really a time right here, if we could have somehow mounted another drive, uh, you really had a chance. You know, I can't falter effort-wise. We give the ball off to Franks. Play action here, and Kenny's got people all over him. Throws the ball, rightfully so, down low. Quarterback draw again. Boy, it just came out about a yard short right in here someplace. Fourth and one. Yeah, if we could have, if, 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 if we could have made a first down. Down uh, you know, again, you made got a drive going. I, I thought they, I thought Colorado was reeling here. Okay, here's Hagen back to field it again. And you you, you got to remember, you got the all-world option quarterback returning punts, which is scary. Good job with a punt coverage group again. Okay, Colorado comes back out. All right, runs up inside, nothing. I think that's probably Satterwhite again. Satterwhite got his knee banged up a little bit. Okay, guys, so I think that might have been Wendell Gaines in there. Okay, here Colbert. we go. Colbert, uh, the Gaines. Gildon. Gaines, the whole crew of them in here. Their names were said a lot. You bet. Okay, good job, Jason Gildon. Great play out here, staying up. Very athletic looking play. Again, Gildon is, I think, playing better than he's ever played. He's still only a sophomore. Okay, great job. Oh, oh this big play right here. I, I'd forgotten when that occurred. That was third down and long yardage. And again, and Hagen, I thought we had him sacked. I looked back to tell our coaches what to do on the punt return. I heard the crowd holler, and he got out of it. That was a very big play here. So now they're, they're They've obviously got time to hammer if, if they can, and they are trying to run the fullback up in here, and he gets hit pretty good. I thought very, very big play when, when, when Hagen got outside of that. Okay, here they're going back to option. Give the ball to the fullback, nothing going. Okay, now they're coming back to throw. Great pressure right there. Grab a hold of him, Elmer. Okay, something. Gildon gets him down. Uh, so we've got, we got Hagen sacked. All right, here he comes back. You can see the pressure. Okay, big Elmer Williams, 97. I had a hold of his jersey, and, and Hagen fell right back into Gildon. Third down and 13. Let's do it again. Okay, here we go right there. Eric Garman. Okay, I, I, what well, they rule him? I guess they obviously ruled him down on that. No, okay. Uh, great pressure here. Let's, I, I haven't seen this view here. Okay, here, here again, Hagen is going back. Great way to throw that guy out the way, Eric Garman. And, uh, whoa. Whoa. Um, Left me speechless there a little bit. Okay, now okay they for, they punt. If we can somehow if we can somehow make a first down in here, the game is is probably going to get over with. Two twenty left in the game. Sprint keeper. Uh, I couldn't see from the side away. Come on, come on. Well, I, I can't. That guy had an angle on him, and Kenny was running hard. If somehow he could have gotten outside or jumped back inside, and he couldn't run a quarterback draw again and forced to punt. I mean, you got the impression certainly this is going to get real scary in here. Hagen catches the ball right across midfield. Again, good job here, Dimitri Markham. Okay, boy, that ball's coming out of there a lot. Uh, minute 54 to play. Minute 54, okay, here we go now. Hagen back to throw, play action pass. Their receivers were looking right in the sun. I mean, we out, we're practice out there about every time this day, and at this time of the year, the sun is right in their eyes. Drop roll, they're trying to run. Okay, he's guys running into everybody. This is the other guy in the ball game here now. Is that, who's that No, that's game? Hagen. That's, this okay, is the play this, that's, okay, that's a play, yeah. Turned his ankle, okay, Gildon, great, great looking play here. Same thing going to this area, guys running into each other and all reeling all around. I thought the inexperience of their offensive linemen showed in here a little bit. Jason Gildon has got enough ability to run down a Darian Hagen. Vance Joseph now the quarterback Joseph, for Colorado. Joseph, little brother of the guy up to uh, Nebraska, throws that and ricochets off the guy. One thirteen left in the, in the ball game. There are people going nuts, all coming out of Eskimo Joes. Watch this, fourth down and 14 right here. Get him down right there, the game's over with. Okay, I don't know where you can see it. We had a guy in position to cover this guy. His total street ball here, you can't see it. Cornell Cannon, okay, if, boy, if the 
two yards backwards, game's over with. 52 seconds left, clock running. Okay, come out, sprint pass. All right, throws it wild, guy slips down. Okay, here they come back again. Uh, they're, they're trying to, they're throwing it there. Obviously got to win the ball game, had a chance at a sack right in here, threw that in the way. 39 seconds left in the ball game. And it's a third and 10. Uh, third and 10, they're gonna run their own quarterback. That's a big play right here. Okay, they run their own quarterback draw. First Again, down. That was, yeah, first down, that's third down and 10 yards right there, 30 seconds left in the ball game. Okay, there they come back, try to run the fullback, nothing going in here. All right, clock is still running. Okay, we died. We yeah, we had already taken a timeout in here. I right, don't try to explain this deal. Okay, here we go. All right, now again, they this is it right here. We got the all block on. Like I said yesterday in the post game, gutsiest call I've ever seen. Hey, if they got the guts to execute, it's probably going to be there against all out block. I told Bill he'd always been my hero, and I didn't still can't believe he did it. <laughs> One of their assistant coaches told me after the ball game, only a guy with a 15 year contract makes that call. Colorado wins 16 to 12, heck of a ball game. We'll be back to wrap up Oklahoma State and Colorado on the Pat Jones Show in just a couple of minutes. Welcome back to the Pat Jones Show. Pat, right toward the end of the game, it got really intense and the plays were coming bang, bang, bang. Well, again, I think that the scenario of events right at the tail end, Jerry, it, uh, again, I, <laughs> if, they, if, if that field goal would have been too tight, had it been us ahead 13 to 10, mm -hmm. Uh, then you probably got to back off a little bit and maybe run a partial block. I know there's been other times that I, I wish that we had run an all-out block. I mean, we practiced that type of situation, seconds left in the ball game, when a field goal will win. I had made the analogy yesterday that's about like throwing the ball on fourth and goal from the one when you're going to run an all-fire type deal. Again, I mean, I still can't believe they did it, but if you got the guts to do it, it's probably going to be there. Uh, and they did it, but you know, you got to go try to block it, and things happen. And it worked. And the final score was Colorado 16, Oklahoma State 12. We'll be back with Pat Jones and Coach's Corner in just a couple of minutes. Welcome to Coach's Corner. Each week at this time, we pose a question to Coach Pat Jones to get his reaction to something that's going on in uh, the world of sports. The 16th bull bids come out. What do you hear, Pat? Well, I, of course, I've been out of tune here a little bit <laughs> in the last three years. It, yeah, I was telling that there was a fellow from the, uh, from the Hancock, Sun Bowl, what have you, up yesterday, uh, again, came in and chatted. And we've got a lot of close friends out there from our experience against West Virginia several years ago. And, of course, he was amazed at the ball game, but I, you really don't know a lot of things. Well, there'll be a lot of phone going, phone talk going on today. A lot of things will, a lot of things being banned around. I think safe to assume Big L probably have a three-way hookup. Bang, one, two, three will mm -hmm. go someplace. We had that happen to us a couple of times. But uh, yeah, I told a guy he send a regards to the people in El Paso because next year <laughs> we're through with this stuff and. Hopefully we can get back in the scenario. But a lot of things will be, I guarantee you, a lot of phone lines being burned up right now. And it will be interesting. We'll be back to talk about the Cowboys' next opponent, the Big Bedlam Battle in Norman. For the Pat Jones Show continues in a minute. Two more games left in the season. Pat did the big one, Bedlam Week. Well, again, I, I think OU has got a, a, an awfully good football team. I've thought that all year long. I think defensively, they're probably about as good as anybody in the country. Uh, you know, the secondary is very, very active. Their linebackers are great players. Offensively, they've been a little bit up and down. They've, they've had some injuries to their skill players, I think, that have affected them. I think probably one of the most impressive things I've seen in this league this year is, is what Gaddis has gotten done at tailback. Mm -hmm. Again, coming back off the severe knee injury, and again, it appeared that his rehab was going slow, and again, Brewer gets hurt. Now, Gaddis, I would think with uh, Derek Brown and Maybe a little Sands up there at Kansas. Or Gaddis might be the best back in the league right now. He, he guys having a great year. Uh, little Gundy has been somewhat up and down, but I think he's really very much an emerging young quarterback that is, is a good, solid player. Uh, emotionally, this thing tends to take care of itself. I don't have to go in there and tell our players what's in store for them, and I, I would think Gary would do the same with his people down there. It, these things have been uh, extremely close here of late. You know, last year it went down. It was less, less than a minute to go in a ball game, and there's a – one touchdown difference. So uh, we'll have a good week of practice. I don't think we've got anybody hurt to speak of. And again, I think this close ball game with Colorado hurts, obviously, but it will certainly uh, should do some things for us as far as uh, the emotional standpoint. So uh, again, it, it, it should help us a little bit. 
I wouldn't think we'd have a hangover again. It's, uh, it's one that you, you had a chance to win, you mm -hmm. didn't. But uh, again, going down to Norman, I think our squad will very much look forward to this week. Well, next week it'll be the Pat Jones Show as we talk about Oklahoma State and the University of Oklahoma, Bedlam. Thanks for being with us this week. We hope to see you again next week on the Pat Jones Show.